I'm a stay so tribe spiritual healer back to give you guys a message. This message is gonna be for the sign of Sagittarius. Hi, Sag, love you guys so much. I got some messages for you guys, Sagittarius. Hope you're all well and safe. Okay. This is gonna be uh a love reading for you guys, Sagittarius, because I um the last love reading I did for you guys was pretty intense, and I figured you guys could use another love reading. Okay, because I love you guys, and here I am with another love reading. Let's get right into your messages, Sag. Okay. Okay, yes. This is what I saw in your other love reading, too. There you go. Sagittarius. You guys. You're putting... Um, You guys are putting endings to... You guys finding out information, getting some truth regarding um, a false person. A false person that was cheating, that was lying, that was... uh plotting and behind the scenes that was manipulating you emotional manipulation that was using you guys codependency issues going on and um this person seems to be a, a karmic uh look like a karmic person in your life okay with the cheater liar card and the ex-lover and the death and endings okay and um that's just telling me that you guys found out the truth about the person and you guys walked away male or female sag you guys found out the truth about a lot of people in your situation because here goes the death card. I, I pulled cards from two different um decks, and here it goes again, the death card, okay? You're, you're putting an end to um toxic people, deceitful people, manipulative people. You guys are actually awakening to your spiritual gifts. You guys are using healing meditations, or you need to be awakening to your spiritual gifts, my loves, okay? So what spirits is telling you guys at this time, you need to be avoiding arguments, avoid disagreements, avoid toxic negative people, avoid people that like to gossip, okay? Gossip and rumors, that's just entertaining negative energy. Avoid these people, avoid these situations. Sagittarius, focus on the task at hand. You guys are healers, you guys are empaths, you guys are here uh, for a purpose, okay? You guys were chosen by the Most High to do a certain purpose in this life. So that's why this awakening is taking place in your life, my love. Because when God wants to awaken us, He awakens us and, and, and He removes our veil. Okay, pretty much um, you, uh, you're having um, messages from your spirits at this time. You're starting to receive messages. You're starting to see red flags. You guys are starting to feel people's energies, whether they're good or bad. You guys are having um, visions. You guys are having vivid dreams. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you guys are going through all this right now. And you guys also been dreaming about someone from your past. Okay, Spirit said. You might have dreams, been dreaming about this person that you loved in the past, Sagittarius. So this person is dreaming about you. But someone's dreaming about somebody. Okay. Because look. A past lover's trying to return to you, Sagittarius. They're looking you up as we speak, reminiscing, being nostalgic, looking at your photos, asking people about you. This person wants to celebrate with you, Sagittarius. This person sees you as their lover, or you want to celebrate with the person you love. You see them as your lover. Switch the energies if you need to, my loves. I'm just here to bring the message, okay? You guys can do the work. You guys have good karma, in your favor at this time this is beautiful energy my loves okay <clears throat> because just by what i see here is that you guys just went through a little rough patch you guys just came out of this rough patch this dark night of the soul you guys are coming out of choppy waters to move into calmer waters you guys are aligning with your soul's purpose you guys are getting on your right path and and, and now you're receiving your gifts and rewards from your spirit and your angels okay some of you guys might be experiencing pregnancy, birth, or you're going to be experiencing a new child or baby. If that is so, congratulations, my loves, okay? And um, let me give you some, some further messages that came out up here in these cards. Okay, Sagittarius, um, I'm going to just let you know that a couple people came up in your reading and your energy, okay? And Sag, you could be dealing with a brother. A brother could be involved in the situation. You remember I just said you guys just walked away from a lot of shady business. You guys found out a lot of truths. You guys uh, are seeing things clearly. You guys might have been dealing with a shady friend, okay? You guys might have had a father that um, 
was making you feel not unworthy or a father that was hiding some secrets and truths about an inheritance or a trust fund that's yours. Wow, that just came out of nowhere, okay? You guys had an uncle involved or a cousin, okay? Some of you might have kids. You might have a son and a daughter, okay? And um, some of you guys are going to be bossing up with the boss lady card. You guys are definitely going to find out some truths regarding some money that's yours. I said inheritance and it came out of nowhere. Nothing is coming out of nowhere. Spirit just gave me that message for somebody. So one of my beautiful Sagittarius watching this video, you're going to boss up. And this is male or female, boss lady, boss man, but you're bossing up, okay? This is my bossing up card. You see how this person is holding money? There's some money that's been kept from you, and then you're about to get that information. And that's why there's been so many shady people in your situation trying to distract you at this time. But nonetheless, Sagittarius, this is a love reading, okay? But you know I have to let you know when you got some pentacles here, when you got some money coming. Like I said, you already put an end to a lot of people. You already found out the truth about someone that you were dealing with that had all these options or that was reaching out to other people. And, um, yeah, you already know about that, okay? So you put an end to that situation. And, Sag, all you're, all you're working on right now is bringing all these pentacles into your beautiful fruition into your beautiful um existence because you guys worked for this you guys did the work you guys woke up you guys got removed the veil you guys got the clarity okay you guys started going within and 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 that's what happens when you take back your power actually you get all the wishes and all um the manifestations that you've been asking for be, that's when they come when you do the work sad and you guys been doing the work and look here it goes Receiving a lot of communication. This is what's kind of happened. This is what's coming in your energy, Sag. You guys are receiving a lot of communication from someone that wants to come in with this love offer. From someone that's being nostalgic, reminiscing. Or this might be you, Sagittarius. You might be communicating with the person that you love. The person that you see as your soulmate. Okay, my loves? <clears throat> yes, and um, the person that you're, that's coming towards you, um, Sagittarius... Could be a water sign. This could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, or they could have Cancer Pisces Scorpio in their chart somewhere. But they're also embodying this energy of the King of Cups, which is like, you know, a very emotional person, a very stable person, a person who's ready to give and receive love, a person who's ready for a real love commitment, a person that is very spiritual and wise. Wow, beautiful. Yeah, and this person wants to come, offer you the Ace of Pentacles. This person might have their own wealth. This person might be wealthy. This person um, might want to work together with you guys also as well and bring your um, finances together. And this person also sees you receiving this Ace of Pentacles because good luck is on your side. Good karma is in your favor. And you guys are receiving this generational wealth and blessing. And this person wants to celebrate with you. They want to um, enjoy a happy home together. They want to have a beautiful life. This person might want to get married. Wow, this is beautiful energy right here. Okay, so this is what's going on for you guys, Sagittarius. This person woke up to the truth of this connection, or this is you waking up to the truth of the connection because you guys just recently dealt with some betrayals or walked away from people that were uh, all in cahoots, I heard. And um, you guys are awakening to the fact that you guys are very uh, wise, that you guys have inheritance. That you guys um, were chosen for a certain purpose. And yeah, you guys are coming into that uh, into that energy right now of receiving your abundance, Sagittarius. And right now, you bringing up your vibration, you leveling up, okay? Taking your place and your power is, is, is you literally cause your person to have an awakening, okay? Because you guys are connected at a soul level. You guys are connected... You know, from the through the divine that um you guys were supposed to reunite at this time. This this union is taking place at this time. This is divine. Um, this is divine orchestrated by God. Okay, so yeah, your person that's coming towards you. This was meant to happen at this time. This person um that you're going towards. If this is the case, they were meant to awaken at this time. You were meant to awaken at this time. You know, vice versa. You know, this is a, a soulmate journey. 
This is the time where soulmates are coming in together to bring up the frequencies and the vibrations of the earth through unconditional love. So this is beautiful. Sagittarius, this is going on. It's coming up in your energy. Okay, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and Abba, Holy Spirits. Give me some further energy for Sagittarius regarding their love life, regarding um, the person coming towards them. Um... In their upcoming energies regarding the mm -hmm, regarding the love offer that they're about to give or receive. Thank you, spirits. Let's get the messages, Sag. Yep, like I said, someone's coming towards you very quickly, or this is you getting in your vehicle, traveling towards somebody. Nonetheless, this is the Cancer energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, King of Cups already came out. So this person looks like they're very determined to find you. They're very determined to come forward. They're very determined to reconcile and fix things because they have their power. They're in their confidence. They know now the um, the value of your connection. They know your worth. Wow, this is beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. Any more messages for the Sagittarius love life? Yeah, this person wants to start a new cycle with you guys. This person has been calling on their ancestors, on their spirit guides, on their animal, spirit animal. This person, um, or you, Sagittarius, this could be you calling on your angels, calling on your spirit guides, having a new uh, awakening, um, shedding your old skin, starting new cycles, new projects, new businesses, new ways of thinking, new, new, new types of lives, moving to another location. Whatever it is, this person's coming towards you because they see you having the world. They see you transforming. They see you taking your power and starting something completely new with your lives. And this is inspiring your person to come forward, you know, because when you, when you, when you love yourself, when you take back your power, okay, you become more romantically attractive. You become more beautiful or handsome. And that's just how it goes. You start to radiate. You start to glow. You start to give off this beautiful energy, and it's like a magnet attracting everything you want to you right now. Sag, yes. And you already, you could be moving to calmer waters, Sagittarius. You could be relocating, or your person could be coming and wanting you to relocate with them or move to calmer waters. Nonetheless, someone's moving to calmer waters. You guys are going to be in a better place mentally and emotionally, okay? Because the person in, in your that you're thinking about has been thinking about traveling towards you, has been thinking about coming towards you, has been thinking about this, and they're actually going to make the move. They're actually going to take this trip, and they're actually going to come towards you, or this is what you're doing, Sad. You could be going towards your person, okay? Yes, because this person, okay, they see you having the Ten of Pentacles. They see you as very wealthy and abundant. They see that um, that you rose up from the ashes. They see that that you have this beautiful glow. Um, they see you as abundant as their other half and as their soulmate, okay? Beautiful. And that's what you're going to be coming into. Sagittarius, you're going to find out some information regarding some money. I'm going to say this again. For some of you guys that are watching this video, you guys are chosen ones, okay? And, and there was family members involved in hiding this money from you guys, but you're about to find out. Why I say this? Why do I say this? It's because the Hierophant card came right after that Ten of Pentacles. Because the Hierophant card is going to bring you some news regarding your money, okay? Regarding this lump sum, regarding these assets, regarding these properties, regarding the settlements, whatever it was, it's coming in. It's coming in very quickly, okay? You could be dealing with a Taurus, you could be dealing with a... Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, my loves? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Once you get this information, my beautiful uh, Sagittarius from this Herophon card, or this is the person you're dealing with, people are going to be celebrating. People are going to be rejoicing. You guys are going to be very happy because um, justice was served. Okay? And the person in, in question, your person, your soulmate, they are watching you very diligently. They are, um, hmm, how must I say this? They're strategically planning on how they're going to approach. That's what I just heard, okay? Your person is strategically planning on how they, he or she is going to approach you, okay? Because, like I said, they've been watching you for a while. They've been thinking about this for a while. But now they see you having all this abundance. They see you with this glow up. They're like, oh, I got to hurry up because I'm going to lose my Sagittarius. Or this is how you're feeling about your person, Sag. Yeah. 
Because someone in this situation is trying to heal a broken heart. They're trying to fix this broken heart. They're trying to move forward. They're trying to um, hmm, they're trying to um, come towards their soulmate to fix a broken heart, to fix each other's broken hearts. Wow, this is beautiful. Okay, because Sagittarius, uh, <clears throat> this person that you were involved with that's coming back towards you could have been given to other people in the past. Okay, or could have been breadcrumbing you guys, whatever the case may be. Because that's what that card gives me, that vibe. And that's why they're worried about coming in. That's why they're a little bit uh, hesitant on making these this move and sending these messages. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy here on the board as well. All signs are here. Nonetheless, there's the sun card. This is what this person wants to bring you. This is what you're going to have, regardless of what. Okay? Because you are going to be having the options. You are going to be having these beautiful options. Because when your money comes in, you, you're going to be able to go and do whatever it is that you want. And this person realizes that if they don't hurry up, they're going to lose you. They're going to miss this opportunity because you're on your power. You're on your throne. Sagittarius, here you go, my beautiful Sag. The beautiful Queen of Wands. There you go. Okay? Very abundant, very wise, very spiritual, very nurturing. Empath, psychic, healer. They see you. Aries, I mean, ooh, I said Aries. You might be dealing with an Aries, Sag. Nothing is a coincidence, my love. You could definitely be dealing with a Queen of Wands. You could definitely be dealing with an Aries, okay? Because I just said that. I don't know where that's crazy. So, yeah. <laughs> Here goes your Queen of Wands. Sagittarius, okay? This is your Queen of Wands. Seeing you as having options, or this is you seeing this beautiful Queen of Wands. It could be an Aries, like I said, okay? Aries are very fiery, beautiful, and passionate, and wise. You could be seeing them having options, and you're going to be rushing in towards this person, Sagittarius, okay? Because you can't hold back this love any longer. Mm-hmm. This person's feeling the same about you guys. So you guys just have to put the pride to the side and make a move, okay? Because this person is... I'm seeing clearly this person is the empress or you're the empress, but someone here is the empress. And the empress is, is a person that's very um, wise, abundant, that um, brings things into life, gives life to other people, is a healer, is connected to the earth and all the energies, the animals. Wow, is co-creating and manifesting this person or you. Yes, yeah, working very hard on that money, working hard on that business. Okay, and you might have rejected this person in the past, Sagittarius, or this person rejected you, but one of you guys are very nostalgic, one of you guys are very regretful, and this union is about to happen, okay, because cr uh, paths are going to cross, this person's going to approach, or you are approaching, and this is happening, okay, this reunion is going to happen, exactly, there goes that beautiful Ace of Cups. Okay, you guys might have been stubborn in the past, might have been rejecting each other's cups of love due to too much ego involved, but you guys have, having, have had an awakening, so you guys are no longer in this energy, no longer in your ego, will be accepting this beautiful Ace of Cups, will be receiving it or accepting it or, or offering it. Either way, this is judgment, this is divine intervention in this relationship, beautiful energy, I love you guys, and yes, the Lord and the angels, they're intervening. And the situation, and I have some beautiful soulmate cards, my beautiful Sagittarius. I'm going to pull a couple of these beautiful soulmate cards. I'm going to be pulling these in every reading um, till further notice at the end of each reading. For every love reading I do, because they're beautiful messages, and I just love these cards, okay? So I'm going to be pulling about five messages from these beautiful soulmate cards for you, my beautiful Sagittarius, to give you some advice from your ancestors regarding this beautiful soulmate union journey that you guys have going on. Okay? Yes. Let me get some messages. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors for my beautiful Sagittarius with these beautiful love messages. Thank you. Four more messages for my beautiful Sagittarius, spirit guides, and angels. Thank you. Okay. Couple more. Okay. I see this one wants to come out and this one right here. Okay. All right. Let's get these beautiful messages, my beautiful Sagittarius, okay? First message that you got from the beautiful soulmate cards and advice from spirit. Sagittarius says this. 
Be still and listen. Feel and just be. Have you forgotten what is truly important? When you pass from this world, all you take with you is your soul and the beautiful memories it holds. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, Sagittarius, okay, just just let go of the past, okay? Just listen and be present in your moment, okay? Because when you pass away, you're not going to take that. Um, All those bad memories are not going to go with you. The only thing that your um, soul is going to hold are the beautiful memories. Wow, okay? Being nostalgic. Sorry, guys. Interruptions. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, my goodness. Hello? Okay. Okay, Sagittarius, your next message says, You are a jewel, even though you may not see it. What you consider imperfect is an illusion. Even in darkness, you shine eternally bright. Yes, yeah, so you are a jewel. Get back your spark. Get back your confidence. Even though you might not see all this beautiful energy and love coming towards you, you need to consider the fact that that's not true. It's just an illusion. Cause even in the darkness, you shine, my love. Yeah, your 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 light is shining. Is awakening your person. Every loving thought is a seed of love. Sometimes the seed sprouts instantly, and other times it lies dormant for a while. The timing really doesn't matter. Love always grows into greater love. Okay, yeah, so you guys, all you needed was a mustard seed of faith, a mustard seed of hope that you and your person have this connection and throughout throughout time because you guys believing in this connection is bringing this connection into the fruition. Beautiful. Your spiritual awareness is growing. Yes, you're having a spiritual awakening, my loves. Okay, and so too is your sexuality sensuality is heightened so you guys your sexuality and your sensuality is being heightened through your spiritual awareness because you guys are very fiery and passionate sign and this has a magical effect on the way you love a sacred union is reborn love is present love is the present moment oh my goodness guys look it says a sacred a sacred union is reborn guys i can't make this up Yes, you're going to be um, reunited. Yes, the sacred union is being reborn. Yes, this is a spiritual connection, guys. Yes, love is in the present moment, guys. A sacred union is reborn. And this has a magical effect on the one you love. So when you waken yourself, it's having an effect on the person you love. I can't make this up, guys. This is just the energy, okay? So I hope you like this reading. I hope you like this message. I love you guys so much, beautiful Sagittarius. I hope you take my advice and spirit's advice, and I hope um, that you're aware of these energies that are coming. They're very beautiful, okay, my love? So you have nothing to worry about. Keep your heads up. Keep being who you are. Keep loving yourselves. I love you guys. Till the next time I read for you guys, namaste.